Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about homeschooling through the summer. Okay guys, so today I want to talk about schooling year-round and summer schooling. So in our family we do schooling year-round, but every year seems to be a lot different than the year before. So this year we picked up a new curriculum, the good and the beautiful, and we are using them for most of our subjects except for math. So my son who is six, he's already finished his good and the beautiful language arts curriculum. And for those of you who do this curriculum, you know that it incorporates more than just language arts. So it's a big chunk of his schooling and his math. He started um, early. He's doing his second grade math. And since we're in the middle of it, um, we're not going to wait until that finishes too, because it's not at the same level as the language arts. My daughter is taking the rest of April off to finish her schooling, finish her language arts and have full school days and then we are getting started on our summer schedule. So for this summer, we're, we're, I'm counting summer as uh, May, June, July and August because we are finished early this year. So we are finished with our main curriculum and so I wanted to start something new. When I first started homeschooling, I had this great picture in my head that in the summer, after we'd done all the book work and all the curriculum, we would start doing some fun activities. We would do crafts from Pinterest, we would do cooking and baking and maybe pick up a new instrument, maybe pick up some creative writing or some new handicraft. The point was to do some unschooling in the summer and doing some interest-led learning and trying on new things that we didn't do the rest of the year. But in the previous years, we either had to catch up doing our curriculum the whole year round, the whole summer, because we had taken off too much in the beginning or in the middle of the year, or we just got lazy in the summer and we just um, took off a month and just hung out, but didn't do any of the things that I wanted to do at all. So this year I am committed to having a fun summer school, but also giving my kids a month of summer vacation. So here's the plan. In May, we will do summer schooling. In our summer schooling, we will be doing science and history because we didn't get to do it a lot in the middle of the year. So I might just take these light months off to do science and history and not do them the rest of the year um, because we do have a lot going on um, here at home with um, me caring for my, my mother right now who is ill as some of you guys do know that so um and we have a full house here it gets pretty busy so we can't pack the day with tons of curriculum um and realistically be able to do it all every day so i'm thinking about switching science and history and doing it over the summer months but definitely in may we'll be doing science and history every day july we are taking off completely so that is no educational guided activities from mommy at all so the kids want to do what they want to do they'll be able to have their free time to do it uh, we'll be taking that time we'll, we'll try we'll try to keep them busy because i don't want them playing video games or watching tv in the summer except for the weekends um so what we're going to try to do is we do have a swimming pool and so we're going to take a couple of days where we're going to go swimming and on those days, we'll probably invite some friends or cousins over to come swim with us, cook out on the grill, have some music on, and just hang out. And then we'll have some days where we'll be doing field trips. We also have, uh, normally now during the school year, we do co-op on Tuesdays. But since we won't be doing co-op on Tuesdays in the summer, we will meet, be meeting with some friends for some set-up play dates on Tuesdays. Um, we'll also have some other play dates and just uh, lots of fun. And here in Florida, we have free movies on twice a week in the summer, free bowling every day in the summer, um, free roller skating I think they have, um, and there's like a lot of activities. We have the splash parks and all those uh, activities that are not too expensive that we can do, um, not including the more expensive field trips like to the water parks or to the aquarium and stuff like that. So being that we have all these smaller places to go, we'll be trying to do a lot of that in June. Every week going place, taking turns between going places and having friends over to hang out with us in the pool. We might even also take a fun summer science class with a bunch of friends of ours. Last year, or I think it was two years ago, we did snorkeling lessons. Um, so we might pick up a cool class like that. We will also be doing some beach learning where I went on Pinterest and I found some cool homeschooling things that we could do on the beach. I'm going to be using Pinterest a lot for my summer months 
ideas and stuff like that so that I can come up with a lot of cool videos for you guys. I'm just kidding. I'm going to do it for the kids too so they can have fun, but it's really for you guys. <laughs> Excuse my screaming kids. I asked them to entertain themselves and I can see them through the other window and they're running around and screaming. Um, chasing each other, but nobody's crying, nobody's hurt, so I guess it's okay. Okay, so when August comes, um, we'll start our curriculum back up. We'll start just regular school starting in August. So I'm planning to take off for the month of December, and I'm saving the rest of my off days as needed. Uh, depending on what's happening with the family and what situations arise that we may need to take time off I'm definitely trying to save some of those months up and um, some of that time off so that I'm not feeling guilty when the kids aren't able to do school but also starting early helps out so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope we gave you guys some ideas of what to do for your summer schooling the kids do deserve a break I feel that they should have some time off and I know a lot of us homeschoolers, we take time off the whole year. But for my kids, their cousins and their friends um, that are not homeschooled and their homeschooled friends all have off the whole summer. So I, I definitely want to give them off at least one of the months and have a lighter school um, at learning time the rest of the summer months. So um, stay tuned for more videos. I will be talking about um, my new curriculum coming up in August. If there's anything new, am I switching curriculums? Am I going to get some new stuff? What am I doing for my toddler? All those videos will be coming up soon. So summer schooling, do you do it or do you take off the whole school year? If you're not a homeschooler yet or if this is your first homeschool year, what are your plans? I want to hear about it. So leave it in the comments below when you finish this video.